hi let us discuss today topic uh, is the item upload by using the abdi file based data import okay abdi so for this so any conversion when we are doing the any conversion or uh, let's say while doing the conversion right mostly we are using to oh, abdi and uh, if we want to load the bulk items let's say thousands of item so we are using that the abdi this template so abdi template we are we can download from the oracle portal let's let me show you that one just log, open that to google okay so sorry fusion if you search here right so you can get here and you can open this and here just scroll down and item product life management just click that item okay in item there is a xlms template just download that make sure okay so what are the uh, your application uh, version okay which up version you are using in your application and the same uh, you know uh, same version uh, same release uh, abdi you need to use so here actually i'm using that an application uh, 24b then i'm using that uh, item template as well as the uh, as well uh, 24b let's say for example uh, how we can see that application which version of the application we are using just to click that user icon here right set up and action then uh, here if you see uh, about the application you can see the bottom there is a about the, about this application you can see see here 24b okay so i have downloaded so let me see downloads still not at Okay, fine. Then let me let's see where it's downloaded. Oh, sorry, he carries there. I can see show in folder. Yeah, here it's downloaded. Oh, see users. Okay, fine. See, just uh, just I'm for I'm copying and I'm pasting in the desktop open okay so here okay we can see it's uh, you know sample data they will they will provide oracle team then uh, i'm deleting everything just i'm keeping the first uh, reference the first line and i'm deleting that there are a lot of you know tabs here uh, sheets okay i can say so just uh, currently i'm just simple item i'm how i'm i'm going to show that how to load and uh, in coming videos one by one i will show you okay so this is the item interface system item interface easy 
and revisions if we have any revisions in item then we will use this one okay and categories uh, currently i am not loading any categories also in this uh, video and item relations so this one also i am not loading in this video and associations also i am not loading and EFFs, so EFFs also I'm not loading this video, okay. So every sheet we will get that, you know, sample data. So I'm going to, I'm deleting that. Okay, don't delete that, you uh, know, headers and all, just uh, it might cause some issues, okay, or just delete the data, that's it. Okay save here create action is the create we are doing the create and the batch id is the batch ID, it should be unique and item number i'm going to choose csp test one So, test one and uh, just delete and org, right? Why it still? Okay. So, org, we have zero zero, which is the master org. So see here, it's a format is changing. So what I'm doing, right? Just I'm changing this format as a from, uh, you know, uh, general to text. So now we can put that zero zero. Okay. Same thing. Okay, I will show you. Okay. And description item load through FBDI. It's, you know, uh, <coughs> sorry, it's uh, item description and template. This template, uh, we we need to, this pro, uh, video, in this video, I'm going to show you that how to, I mean, you know, by using item template. So, already I have, you know, I have uh, one video up uploaded already so how to create that item template so you can uh, go through that video i'm going to give that uh, your i mean uh, link in description product description in video description you can go through that so here right so template already i have created template okay so other all other you know information since we gave this item template right all other information it would be the optional so source system not required and root class item class also it's not required everything it's you know it's all are the optional So I'm deleting. Okay. So all attributes it will take you know from the item template. So let's say I'm going to
give the same item assigning the same item to other org as well that is the Seattle our code is that you know double zero one okay just simple uh, how to load the item by uh, through FBDI by using the item template save keep in remember this uh, you know batch ID 131637 one, just go this so first page so instruction of the CSV generation then generate the CSV click the generate the CSV it's a mac macro enabled uh, file okay just click the generate the CSV before that okay what we will see okay yeah this one let's go the properties unblock okay sorry I'll play So, then only it will allow you, you know, it without any errors. Okay. You saved. Let me reopen that. I saved right in this sense. Is that yes? Correct. Let me see here why it's coming. Properties. okay here options enable this content yeah that's why it was not allowing us to generate csv <coughs> generate csv and in documents just i'm creating the one folder for this not required actually folder but of for my understand purpose, I'm creating the folder just to generate CSV. That's it. It will take you know uh, some time to generate the CSV. Okay. Yes. It's got generated. Okay. Click the OK. Go the application, just I'm going the application and go the tools, schedule process. Okay, in schedule process, just click that uh, schedule new, schedule new process, then load load interface load interface file for import click the ok then here here if you see the right item import if you select here right right item import it will it will not come because there is a some bug it seems okay we need to select drop down and in drop down just select the, the search and do that search okay case sensitive it seems even k without case sensitive also if you give there it will not come because it's a bug actually click the upload we need to upload uh, csv file okay It's not the uh, item template which we downloaded. Okay, just a CSV zip file. It will generate it, right? So we need to go that there, and we need to up, just upload. Click the OK. Save. 
submit okay refresh just it's a hierarchy so mean other child uh, programs also it's it will run see another child child jobs also it will run it's okay so. succeed now you need to do item import just click that uh, schedule new process item import click the item import select the item import and then click to ok batch id i told right Keep, remember that batch id ok in, in uh, item template so there is a one six three seven and process the all logs we are processing for you know two orgs right master org and at the same time child org if you want to process only one org then we can give that one only one org okay click that submit okay refresh It will take a few a few seconds or few minutes, sometime few minutes as well. Based on that, you know how much data we have, how much that it how many items we are loading. So based on that, it will take time. So There are a lot of uh, child process also, child jobs, uh, yes, jobs also it will run. So until uh, you know, it's complete. Uh, okay, this the this all are the child's child jobs only. Okay. Yeah, succeed. Item imported. So got succeed. Okay. Now let's see uh, that our item is got created or not. Okay. Just go home. Just product product management and product information management here just go the task manage items here csp test one click the search see item load through a bdi and it we assign this two arcs right uh, one is that uh, master arc and is a seattle so if you open that and see oh is that item see everything is got created that's all thank you and we will meet next video bye bye